and centre of Toronto. We're essentially a community service for the Indigenous community. And uh, the tours offer history about the property, the programs and services that we do offer. So we start the tour out here, and I think we head up to the totem pole first, is that right? Yes. So the totem pole was donated by uh, an Indigenous artist. He actually uh, carved the totem pole right here on site. It represents the peoples of this area and Indigenous peoples coming to gather at this particular site at the Native Canadian Centre of Toronto. So once we come inside, where do you head? So I share about all of the programs and services that we offer to young families. And lots uh, of art throughout the whole centre as well, right? We have a the one of the largest, if not the largest, art collection here in Toronto uh, throughout the centre. So this is the auditorium at the Native Canadian Centre of Toronto. We do... Um, we host a number of programs and services here. We host a Thursday evening uh, drumming circle and a social every week, which is open to the Indigenous community and the non-Indigenous community. It's also a space that is uh, rentable. So we have a youth center here, and we offer, again, a number of programs and services for Indigenous youth. And the talking room is a space for kind of leadership meetings, if you will. I always close the tour off in the gift shop. Uh, again, it's a great way to support the center. Uh, it's all indigenous artisans, entrepreneurs, uh, folks who've gone through our entrepreneurial, our best entrepreneurial training. So it gives them, a, them an understanding of what we do as a center. Public tours of the center happen on Tuesdays and Fridays. They are free but they do appreciate donations. On Spadina, Audra Brown, City News.